Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to create that hidden recovery partition that you see on these big manufacturers laptops uh, where you can push a function key like F11 or F10 to restore your computer back to factory settings. So we're going to show you how to create this or something similar to this with using a Cronus True Image 2013. Now this is not my preferred way of making backups of a system, I normally do that uh, off the computer, back it up to a NAS drive or something like that. Uh, so in case the drive fails, I've always got a backup which I can revert back to. By doing it this way, if the drive fails, you will lose everything. So bear that in mind. So let's get started. Now Cronus True Image uh, 2013 is not a free piece of software, but it's my preferred piece of software that I like to use when I'm creating backups and I'm also uh, restoring. So let's get started here. We're going to go to Tools and Utilities. And we also want to go to a Cronus Secure Zone. This is going to create a secure zone on our system. Uh, and we're going to put a password on that so we can store all our images inside there. Okay. And as I said, this is not the preferred method. This is just the method that you wanted me to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a tick in the C drive here going to go next and you can see here that it wants me to resize uh, this Acronis secure zone and you can see it wants 20 gigabytes I'm not going to make it that big I'm just going to make it say 10 gigabytes but you can make yours whatever you like okay this is a very small system um, but you can make yours as big or as small as you like as long as it holds your image of your system so let that do its job and now you can see it's created this little Acronis secure zone okay inside here so with that done we need to click on proceed now you can set up options there if you wish but we're just going to proceed with this one Okay, it wants us to uh, restart the uh, computer now, so we're just going to quickly do that. We'll just let this load in. Now that's going to create the actual uh, secure zone for us. It's going to resize all our partitions and do it all for us. We we'll just let Windows start up now. And there we are back at the desktop. Now if we have a look at our drive here, you can see there is now a partition called uh, a Cronus Secure Zone. And that's our system folder here. Now there's nothing inside here at the moment. There's, so we can put some stuff in there. Now you can put passwords on here if you wish. So we're going to fire up our Cronus again. And if we go back into a Cronus secure zone, this will allow us to make changes to the size or decrease the size here. We can also remove it or we can add or change the password for this. Okay, If we want to lock it down and stop people looking inside there. Next next thing we need to do is create a backup of our system and put it into that location. So what we're going to do is go back to backup and recovery here. I'm going to click on backup data. I'm 
Now once we've got this backed up we want to click on a Cronus secure zone here and then click on backup. That's now going to save all my partitions into my Cronus secure zone and I'll come back when this is finished. Okay that's the backup process now finished. Now if we look inside there now you'll see there is my partitions click on that like so you can see we've got the C drive and the system reserved partition now again we could put password on this to stop people entering it or looking inside there now if we wanted to add a function key on this so when we push this key we'd need to assign it with this F11 and you can do that with the Acronis startup recovery manager you click on this all we need to do is click on activate and now we're pretty much good to go we're, we're ready to have that all set up so if I reboot the system now and tap on F11 you'll see what happens let's restart the system now this is the actual boot menu that you're going to get which is a uh, true image or windows you can turn on your mouse if you wish and use that as you can see in the instructions down below let it load up and there you have your options to recover your system it'll either be recover or make more backups um, depending on what you want to do really uh, but if you want to actually go through the menu you can do backup and recovery you can just use your tab key on your keyboard to tap down if you wish as you can see the highlighted bit there and there you can actually make recovers of your images that you may have you can check logs there's no logs here you can also go to tools and uh, make changes to your Cronus startup recovery manager or manage your Cronus secure zone clone the drive add a new disk whatever you want to do from this location pretty straightforward stuff but that's basically how you create a partition um, with a Cronus true image 2013 and also assign a hotkey uh, to that so you can actually push that on reboot and restore the system so I hope this has been useful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys. That will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. And also hit the like button, guys, if you really enjoyed the video. And that will help me out and get some visibility. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys. And thanks for your support. Bye for now.